Hey, how's it going? I'm gonna be doing a canning video within today and tomorrow, so um, it's not gonna be absolutely perfect like most canning videos. I'm just gonna pretty much give the rundown of what I'm doing, but just putting something quickly together. This weekend, I will be filming my mother and I doing uh, a couple different things with the tomatoes that we have, so I'll be posting that when it's done as well. But um, for now, I'm doing chicken broth, so I will show you what I do there. Hope you enjoy! There are moments in the background that you may hear my husband either talking to someone, as in a family member, or you'll hear him watching something on YouTube or a show. In the previous clip before this, you saw potatoes. I have been canning for the past three or four days now, so the previous clip that you did see, that was me canning potatoes while they were on sale. It was about either five, no, maybe 10 pound bag for two bucks. Normally they're six dollars or so Canadian, so yeah, I was canning those. Right now you can see me, um, I'm tearing apart chickens. I had three full chickens in my freezer that I was waiting until layoff season to be able to can. So I cooked them in the crock pot and I was tearing apart the legs and taking off the skin and whatnot and putting chicken in the um, pints. That way they could be like shredded with chicken broth. This is in my 16 quart pot. This is what I'm going to be using to turn into chicken broth. So I had two crock pots going, one with two chickens and another one with chicken and the other side chicken breasts. So I'm just canning the chicken in the broth, whatever I can get in pints and then tomorrow I'm going to boil all the bones that I have to make chicken broth and then can all of that. Um, yesterday I canned uh, 13 quarts of potatoes and I still have four left so I got to can those today. Um, but the other one sealed good and just doing the chicken now and then doing the broth tomorrow so So you saw earlier I had gloves on my hands uh, when I was peeling potatoes the previous day I cut my pinky open so I put a band-aid on and I put gloves on just to be safe so I'm not going to touch anything unless I have gloves on obviously touching the outside of the jars isn't that big of a deal especially with my hands washed but just thought I'd clarify that because I'm canning chicken I'm wiping the rims of my jars with white vinegar
your seal is okay. Make sure that your vent hole doesn't have any bubbles in it. So, I'm just in the other room because my husband's on the phone, but I put the four quarts of potatoes in the canner. So, my stove is an induction stove top, so I need what's called an induction plate for my canner to work with my stove. Um, there was a lot of reviews on the plate that it didn't work, but I have two of them and both of them work absolutely perfect. Like I've canned so much already. So, um, so I have the four jars that I have to can tonight. And then as you can tell, I put the chicken aside with the lids and the rings on it. Chicken's already cooked all the way through. I'm doing a hot pack for my canner. It went from a dial gauge canner to a weighted gauge canner. Um, so my processing time and my altitude, like my altitude, I have to process at 15 pounds and my processing time for potatoes is 40 minutes for quarts. Um, for my chicken, it's, I'm doing pints and I'll be doing chicken broth as well. And my altitude is 15 pounds. Well, for my altitude, it's 15 pounds and I'll be doing, um, 75 minutes. So that's an hour and... 10 minutes pretty sure um, I'll double check tomorrow when I actually do it but I'll just do the potatoes tonight because it's already like 7 38 and it's not gonna get up to temperature in time so it won't be done until like 9 9 30 which isn't too bad but and then tomorrow I'll do chicken broth I will boil the chicken bones and the rest of the chicken broth with the chicken skin and everything in it. I'll do it all day and I'll add some chicken oxo too, the one without MSG. And then I will do as many pints or quarts as I can. Um, and the broth for, it's going to be 15 pounds again and it's probably going to be 25 minutes for pints and 35 minutes for quarts, something like that. I usually double check before I put it. but. Um, that's what I'm doing. Um, and then also, so there's a couple of things that my mother and I are going to be canning. So I'm doing the chicken and chicken broth. We have two turkeys each that we're going to be canning. So we're going to do chicken, uh, turkey soup and can that. We have ground beef to can. We have to make pasta sauce and can that. Um, we're going to do pulled pork. I did potatoes, and then we're also keeping an eye out for sweet potatoes on sale. We're going to also can that as well. So I'll probably re be recording all of that as well. Um, but yeah, make sure that when you're canning, you do your own research. You go by what it says. You don't just do whatever you want. You go by what it says because botulism is a serious thing. Um, yeah. I'll just share what I can with what I do when it comes to canning. So I'm going to finish canning these potatoes and then I will show you the broth tomorrow and I'll show you like my canning and whatnot. So see you tomorrow.
So I didn't get as many pints of chicken as I wanted, but I got a good couple of them and uh, the processing time was 1 hour and 25 minutes. So I actually boiled my chicken bones uh, and skin and whatever else I had left. I actually boiled that overnight until like 10 a.m. So it was a very, very rich chicken broth. A bit of time I used the ladle to put my chicken broth into my jars and then I remembered I had a wet measuring cup and I switched to that because yeah why wouldn't I don't forget your one inch head space me over my canner going but this is my sourdough starter I started five days ago and as I speak right now it's been eight or nine days This is Artemis. This is our first kitty and we have another kitty named Jupiter which is a tabby and a pain in the ass. didn't use this sooner, I feel kind of like an idiot. So when you're working with chicken or meat that have like a grease type substance that could possibly go around the rim of the jar, you need to wipe it down with vinegar. So that's what we're going to do. So, vinegar. Some of you may notice that I have the natural peanut butter on the counter. 
I use it not only for us, but I also use it to make homemade suet because I have a lot of birds. So now that I wiped all my jars off, I'm going to put my lids on and my rings. I don't have enough rings up here, so I have to go down to the cellar and get more. So we're going to get more rings because I don't have enough upstairs. Um, my canner has about 22 minutes left. And then I can turn off the element. So... Um, I am not showing anyone my whole cellar because there's enough of that shit on YouTube plus you don't need to see my cellar, it's my cellar, but I'll show you. I have lots of rings. <laughs> so we're going to grab the rings. I wiped off all the rims of the jars with vinegar because I was, I was putting chicken broth in it and... I put non, like no MSG uh, chicken oxo in my chicken broth just to kind of season it up a little bit and I boiled it overnight so it's really really like really nice looking. Um, this is my last chicken broth that I did and it's act like it's actually really nice. I did this in August but it looks really good but so going to do that gonna put the lids on and then we're gonna put the rings on and then once the canner has cooled completely down and I'm able to take off the weight I'll take off the weight I'll wait another 10 minutes and then I'll take the lid off and then I usually just take the jars out right away but you can wait until it cools down a bit after that um, I have to run to, to um, the mailbox quick and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put the pints in the canner first and the pints are going to probably be 25 minutes but i have to double check that i can't remember exactly but i'll check it before i do it but anyways yeah normally when you put on lids you should put them in warm water and then put them on i don't do that i don't recommend that you follow what i do but i don't do it So no, I do not put my lids in hot water before I put them on. I do wash all my lids before I use them, but I don't put them in hot water and then take them out and then put them on my jars. I just, I guess I'm lazy that way. I do not recommend that you do it the same way I do. You do it the way that either the National Canning website tells you or the proper way, obviously. But me, that's the way I do it. And yeah, just being honest. So I just took my pints out of the canner, um, obviously I just showed you. They look good, it looks like all of them have sealed. I have had instances where I take the pint or the quart out of the canner and it doesn't seal until like almost the next morning and there's been, I've only had I think three or four jars in total that have not sealed at all and I've had to use them within those two days. Um, but that's like the only time I've ever had that happen, knock on wood. Um, so I'm going to let that cool overnight obviously and then I'll put them down in the cellar. Um, I have four quarts that I have to can still but I'll do that tomorrow because it's not a big deal like they're sealed right now so um, 
it's just too late right now to can them right now. So I'm not gonna bother at this very moment. But um Yeah. I think that's all I wanted to mention. If there was one thing that could help me feel better during a shitty day and I couldn't go outside or something, it'd be canning. I absolutely love canning. And if you don't know how to can, I recommend you learn because it is, it's intimidating at first and it can actually be very terrifying, but once you get used to it, it's, it's super fun. It's relaxing and it's worth it. <laughs> Anyways, see ya. Thank you.